Hello guys, how y'all doing? So today I'll be giving you a no BS guide on how to optimize your low end PC or potato PC to play where wins meet. I'm not going to beat around the bush to tell you to clear your cache or download some game boosting software that doesn't even work. I'm going to give you actual ways to tweak your system to play the game. Now, before we touch on the game settings, let's just focus on optimizing the PC itself or optimizing Windows first to even start the game. So firstly, you need to understand that where the winds meet does not support arbitrary resolutions, which means whatever resolution your current monitor is at is going to use that and you can't change it to any lower resolutions in game, which is kind of weird for a game in 2025, but it is what it is. So in order to change your resolution, you have to change the resolution of Windows first. You can do this by right clicking the desktop click display settings then scroll down to where it says display resolution and choose a lower resolution this will single-handedly already take a massive load off the gpu or the, the system itself to provide a smoother and more responsive experience i know y'all want the craziest quality and performance on a potato pc but i'm sorry it's difficult unless you're ready to upgrade your system. All right. Also for the stretchers lovers, you have to go into your Nvidia control panel. Go to where it says adjust this desktop size and position and make sure to click full screen under scaling mode. Then also check this box to force the game to scale or stretch to your desired resolution. After you've done that, you want to head back up to change resolution and under the PC section, choose your desired stretch resolution, then click apply. As I said before, doing this will immediately boost performance in game by a lot, which because there's less pixels for the GPU to process. It's as uh, simple as that. Now, the next tip is to make sure after you've successfully opened the game, you have to pull up task manager. Hover over the game, right click it, then click go to details. Then you'll see it highlighted in this section. Now you need to right click it again, click set priority and set it to the to um, above normal or high. What, what this will do is force the CPU to focus more on that specific game, which in return will increase overall performance. Of course, other applications on your system will starve now because of that. That's why you need to make sure that there isn't any unnecessary applications open in the background. And to also check this, just simply click here, see if you have any unwanted applications open. Also, as a side note, you can right click it again and instead of clicking set priority you click on set affinity and you can just check just to make sure if it's using all your cpu cores okay i don't normally give this as a tip because it's usually always um defaulted to all cpu cores but just check just to make sure okay okay now the other tip is to increase your virtual system ram now, just bear in mind, this isn't a solid way to boost speed or anything like that. You might just get a very minor boost in stability and less lags because Windows VRAM is usually a lot slower than GPU VRAM, but it does increase that room space so that the game doesn't struggle too much. So you increase the VRAM by going to the search bar, type view advanced, click on view advanced settings, then under advanced tab, click on performance setting. Then in the visual effects tab, make sure adjust for best performance is selected. Then click on advanced, click here where it says adjust for best performance of programs. Just make sure that's ticked because we do want the game itself to run a lot better. Then click change in the virtual memory section. Okay. Untick automatically page in file size for all drivers. Then click on custom size. 
what I used to do is for this part is just double my VRAM. So if I have four gigabytes, I'm just going to put four or five. Okay. I put four or five for the initial and the maximum. Now what you want to do is click on set, then okay, then apply, then okay. So after you've done that, you might see the windows interface might seem less appealing, but don't worry. It's for the greater good of gaming. Okay. Now the next option is to tweak your BIOS settings. Now, when I used to have my potato gaming PC, whenever it comes to tweaking my BIOS settings, I just cut my losses at that point because one wrong change can make permanent damage to your system. If you're not careful or do not understand what the setting you're changing actually does. So I'm just going to list three options that I know for sure does to your system. Making any updates to your BIOS is totally up to you. Okay. So for AMD users, there is something called precision boost overdrive. It's a feature that automatically overclocks the CPU based on thermal and power headroom. This feature basically overclocks the CPU. So make sure your PC fans are positioned properly. Make sure your system is in a moderately cool environment and make sure the PC fan speeds are high to prevent overheating. You also have another bias setting. This is for Intel users, which is called multi-core enhancement or power limits. PL1 or PL2. It does the same thing like the previous setting I mentioned. They force the CPU to work even harder to sustain higher or even more higher clock speeds to increase PC performance. Just keep in mind when these settings are on, the CPU is running very hot, which can lead to potential damage over time. Okay. Now the third option is called extreme memory profile, which increases the speed of your RAM. So of course, with all these settings on, it will require more power or voltage, which can lead to more heat circulation, possible hardware damage if heat isn't maintained properly, and also random computer crashes because of high voltage. So bear that in mind when you're fiddling with these uh, bias settings. Now on to the other tip, which is to cap your FPS. This is such an underrated guide to tell low end gamers do because it literally prevents FPS throttling which will, which will in return give you a smoother frame rate. It also prevents the system from using too much power and it also makes your system more responsive. So in order to cap the FPS, you have to download this beautiful software called RTSS, River Tuner Statistics Server. The link will be in the description below. So after you've downloaded and installed the software, I already have it installed. You should head over to the search bar, type RTSS, click on River Tuner Statistics Server. So when you have it opened, it usually just sits in the tray. So don't be alarmed if you click it and it doesn't open. Just click it here in the tray. Now when it's finally opened, you'll need to link Weirwind's Meet to RTSS. You do this by clicking on add. Click this PC, go to the drive you downloaded it to. For me, it's drive C. Click on program file x86. Click Steam. Click on Steam apps. Then on common. Then where winds meet. Click engine. Then on binaries. Click Win64 R. Then there you go. Click on the Where Winds Meet application. Then open. So here you should see it populated. Just make sure Where Winds Meet .exe is highlighted. Okay. Now over here on the right, there's only two settings you should be focusing on. The first one is stealth mode. It should be on. This prevents certain games from thinking RTSS is a hacker software. And the second setting is frame rate limit, where you'll be setting your desired FPS. So let's say your system is pushing 60 FPS or you only have a 60 FPS monitor. 
then cap it at 45. I personally always like to bring down my FPS by at least 10 or 15 frames. And yeah, that's it. Just click minimize and you should be good to go. And now for Nvidia users, it's as simple as right click at the desktop, click on control panel, click on manage 3D settings, click on the program settings tabs. Then where it says select a program to customize, you just click this drop down to see if the Weirwinds Meetup is populated. But if it's not, just click on add, then locate it just like I did before with um, RTSS. And when you've done that, you can cap your FPS in the max frame rate section. Also, if you want to tweak it for further performance, you can pause the video and copy my exact NVIDIA settings. And yeah, that's it for copying your FPS. And the last two tips are enabling Windows game mode and adjusting your Windows power options. In order to do so, you head to the task search bar, type in game mode, click on game mode settings, and just make sure this is on. It says simple as that then you want to head back to search bar again and type in control panel then click on hardware and sound then you click on power options and make sure ultimate performance is on or high performance is on some of y'all might not have ultimate option because I'm guessing because I'm using more of a high-end PC as to why it's visible to me. But nonetheless, if you're not seeing that option, just click on high performance. And yeah, that's it for optimizing Windows itself to play the game. Now it's time to go in-game to tweak the video settings. Okay, so once you've fully booted into the game, uh, you should go to settings. Uh, I think settings is here. And then you go over to where it says display. Okay. Now here is where you want to set the FPS limit to unrestricted. So what unrestricted will do is um, it's going really nothing because you're already capping your frame rate already with um, RTSS. Or if you did it through NVIDIA control panel. So you can just set this to unrestricted once you're uh, copying your FPS. Uh, V-Sync, let's put that to close. Uh, motion blur to close. Uh, let's scroll down here. Uh, super resolution type. You want to put this to close as well. Okay. So here it says smooth the jug, smooth the jug edges of the graphics for a smooth appearance. Of course, that takes some GPU use. I will set that to close. All right. Now graphics is kind of pretty straightforward. Everything is on low, 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 real time sunset close. I'm guessing it means the same thing as um, off. And that's pretty much it. And yeah, that's it, guys. That's the, uh, the full guide on how to play Where Winds Meet on a potato PC, I guess. Or a low end PC. As always, if you guys found this video, you know, helpful or interesting, just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. I'll catch you all legends in the next one. Y'all can shoot me a friend request if you want. I'd love to spar some.